Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023, the start of Ramadan for our Muslim friends. And we begin with proof that Taylor Swift doesn't forget. The superstar singer left a blank space in the audience of last week's Glendale, Arizona concert and reserved it for now 13-year-old Isabella McCune. Five years ago, Isabella was supposed to see Taylor during her reputation tour, but a fire pit accident landed her in the hospital for nine months with burns covering 65% of her body. So while she couldn't see Taylor on stage in 2018, Taylor saw her in the hospital with no media or entourage in tow and learned that superfan Isabella used Taylor's tunes to calm herself during the three torturous hours of daily bandage changes. At the time, Taylor promised Isabella tickets to her next concert, which is the now happening Eras Tour. Her team made good on that promise in person last week. It's a feel-good video if ever there was one. Five high school students in war-torn Ukraine were on Zoom calls with the president of Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, when he announced that not only had they been accepted for the fall semester, but that their entire four years would be paid for by Dickinson alum and philanthropist Sam Rose. The real estate developer set up a $2 million scholarship fund and earmarked it specifically for students from Ukraine. The fund will cover tuition, textbooks, room and board, travel, health insurance, and a monthly allowance. The five recipients were left speechless and in tears, but most of all they said, grateful. 500,000 kids in the nation's second largest school district are forced to play hooky for a second straight day today. Los Angeles, California cafeteria workers, bus drivers, and custodians walked off the job yesterday for the start of a three-day strike over pay and staffing, and some 30,000 teachers are refusing to cross the picket line to get to classrooms. It's a case of who skied into whom. Iron Man actress Gwyneth Paltrow is in a Park City, Utah courtroom this week after being sued by a doctor who says she crashed into him on a beginner slope at Deer Valley seven years ago, causing numerous injuries. Paltrow says, not so fast. It was he who ran into her and he had his injuries prior to the accident. Dr. Sanderson first asked for $3 million in damages. Now it's down to 300000 Ms. Paltrow is countersuing for $1 plus legal fees. The trial is expected to last about a week. It's not yet known if Paltrow will take the stand, but her attorney told the jury they would hear from family members who were skiing with her at the time of the incident. He's 90 years old and a first-time dad. Mr. Pickles is a radiated tortoise from Madagascar, and he and his longtime companion, Mrs. Pickles, just surprised the Houston Zoo with three new hatchlings. It's a big deal, not just because of Mr. Pickles' age, but because his species is critically endangered, doesn't produce offspring often, and because Mr. Pickles himself is considered the most genetically valuable radiated tortoise, according to the Association of Zoos and Aquarium Species Survival Plan. The Pickles family's newest additions have been appropriately named Dill, Gherkin, and Jalapeno. In today's Kid News Notes, with any luck, robo-texts will soon be robo-toast. The Federal Communications Commission voted unanimously last week to crack down on those spammy unwanted messages that junk up our phones. Cell providers are now required to block text messages from suspicious sources or from numbers that aren't supposed to be used for texting. Statistically speaking, he's the world's most popular artist. The Weeknd, whose real name is Abel Tesfe, just set two new Guinness records, one for most monthly listeners in Spotify history by hitting 111.4 million and another for being the first artist to cross the 100 million monthly listeners mark in general. The weekend streaming surge follows the release of his Die For You remix featuring Ariana Grande, which went viral on TikTok and is the most streamed track on Spotify. That's it for Kid News. Now, today's Kid News quiz. Taylor Swift just made good on a promise to a fan from how many years ago? Five. 
A generous real estate developer in Pennsylvania gave five full college scholarships to high school students from what country? Ukraine. How many LA kids are out of school while district employees strike? Five hundred thousand. The surprise hatchlings from Mr. and Mrs. Pickles are named what? Dill, gherkin, and jalapeno. In today's Kid News Kicker, wanted in New Mexico, professional bear huggers. The state's Department of Fish and Game posted the job listing on Facebook earlier this week. Interested conservation officer applicants must have the ability to hike in strenuous conditions and the courage to crawl into a bear den. The Cheeky Post also acknowledges that not all law enforcement field work is this glamorous, but that this is an experience of a lifetime. Generally speaking, conservation officers enforce fish and game laws, conduct wildlife surveys, and capture problem animals. To that end, there's also an important P.S. included, that although the job may require crawling into a bear den from time to time, it is not a recommended activity. And P.P.S., the post says, don't feed the bears. Before we go, we want to shout out our Kid News classroom, starting with Mrs. Blanchard and Mrs. Hook and their sailors at Ferguson Elementary in League City, Texas. In California, Ms. Willits, teacher of Savannah, who's the daughter of our former colleague and friend Sal Castaneda at St. Joseph's Elementary School in Alameda. And Ms. Lamb and her lions at Stone Valley Middle School in Alamo. The Lawler Family Homeschool and a salute to Dad, who's an active duty officer with the Army in Columbia, South Carolina. And Mrs. Matz and her Wildcats at West Vincent Elementary in Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Thanks for listening. Please take a moment to rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.